Hello, this is Mark Thornton at the Mises Institute with another minor issue. We've got the Super Bowl this weekend, and I heard a story that there was going to be $160 billion spent on the Super Bowl. And I thought, well, even with the Eagles fans spending like crazy, that figure seems too high to me. And lo and behold, there's less than $20 billion spent on all of the Super Bowl parties all over the country, and there's less than $20 billion bet on the game. So those numbers don't really indicate a boost to the economy. And even the Super Bowl itself, where even the bad tickets are selling for $1,000 and a mediocre cocktail party catered in Phoenix, Arizona, would cost you $250,000. Uh, none of that is really going to spur on the economy in any meaningful way. And speaking of that, the Super Bowl indicator, which predicts that the stock market will go up if a team from the NFL or the modern uh, National Football Conference wins, then the stock market will gain for the year and if a team from the old AFL or the American Football Conference, if they won, that would cause a loss in the stock market. And that is just a spurious correlation, which has revealed itself over time and, again, warns us not to make our investments based on such um, advice. From 1967, when the Super Bowl began to 1978, this Super Bowl indicator was actually 100% right. And then as time went on, from the post-1978 period to the present, its success has fallen to only 75%. And if we look at that same Super Bowl indicator that predicts an NFC team winning uh, results in a positive stock market for the year, so in this case, if the Eagles won, the stock market would go up. If the Kansas City Chiefs won, the stock market would go down. Well, the indicator is now at less than 50-50 since the year 2000, and its correction rate is only 43% over the last 20 years. So what seemed like the oracle of the stock market one easy stop shopping, so to speak, about investment advice has turned decidedly unfavorable and unsystematic because it had no economic content to be based on. I hope everybody has their favorite team winning and they win in all their bets and they have a great Super Bowl day party, but don't count on the Super Bowl saving or spurring on the economy or even the stock market in this case.